what we're going to do I want to take care of this fungal thing first I marked it just like Destin's marked Ooh. took a little bit of a hit there that's okay let's kill it fast some monsters have high protect, which absorbs attack damage. Dots, blight and bleed, ignore protect, uh, and are effective means to take down these highly armored opponents. Got it. Well, I, I marked it, so it can take a lot more hits. Or rather, it's easy for me to just take pot shots at it like crazy. Wow, is that the first time Sukai's been attacked? I think it was. There we go. I think we're in good shape to finish these guys off. Stun you. Boosh. The strategy of the game is is really good. I love the whole positioning mechanic. You know, it makes you really think about how you're going to set up your team, like what abilities you're going to give them. Because you really have to think about that. All right, let's protect myself since I'm since Destin's the one being attacked the most. Buff him up. Make it more of a pain for them to attack him as opposed to a benefit. I'll take some time to heal Loli because she is a bit more uh, fragile compared. Damn it! Lucky little shit. Look at that, zero damage. <laughs> Look at that, me having moves like Jagger. And then missing like an asshole. All right, good shit. I really like. I really like how Destin's taking no damage at all. Like it's just like, pfft. like he doesn't even give a shit. Let's heal, take some time to heal up, and buff him up, as if he needs more buffs, you know? <laughs> oh no! They've been blighted. There we go. Get rid of some of these corpses, that way I can reach this uh, artillery. Are becoming a little bit of an issue. Go with the chop. And miss with the chop. Alright, reduce its dodge. We need to reduce its dodging capability. That's getting really annoying. And I probably won't be able to finish it off here, so just stun it. Yeah, it was it's really fast, so I couldn't even do anything before. Ugh! So fast. Oh, she can't even touch. Loli can't touch it at all. Yeah, let's bandage me up. Thank you. And buff me up. And Sukai for the finish.
got some deeds, some jade, some gold, a stun stone. To the tasks it's twenty percent stun still skill chance, but minus two dodge. Nifty. All right, so up ahead, there's two, we have two more battles to go through. Two more battles. In radiance, may we find victory. Can I heal any of our group up? Well, that's the best I could do. Do I want to reduce the dodge of anybody, though? Destin already doesn't have any dodging capabilities, but he doesn't even need it when you think about it. Plus four dodge, minus one speed, plus minus two dodge. Yeah, they counteract each other. My dodge is still, like, really great, but I have a better chance of stunning the enemy. Alright, let's go. These leeches shouldn't be too bad. They're really easy to kill. So Sukai is going to take some time to heal people, since the leeches shouldn't be too much of an issue. And I shouldn't take too much damage in hindsight. So I kind, kind of need to take this opportunity to boost people up. Yeah, like so, the maggots are just super, super simple. One hit. And they don't really have good dodge. So who should I heal? Let's heal Destin because he's in the front row. I feel like I probably should have healed uh, Asuka. Stun. Miss. Alright, taking, taking a moment. This is strategy, man. We're not, we're not going in for the kill. We're just taking a moment to heal people. And then going in for the kill. I think we're ready to go. Let's use that last... The promise of safety. Oh. Stashed heirlooms. Take those. Someone dropped this recently, probably on the run. It has a lock on it. <gasps> oh, it was booby trapped. Clever girl, clever girl. Oh man, these are some tough cookies here. Good thing I healed. Oh, and push Destin back. So, as planned, I gave Sukai an ability. So this will reduce one of their, uh, one of their accuracy and damage output. And these two still need to attack. Oh, right, the actions. Okay, I feel dumb not realizing that. Those, I can use those indicators to know who I should target first. All right, all right, debuff. Stun. Ah, don't grope me. I know my butt is like irresistible, but still. Knock you back. The ground quakes. I want to make. I want to get this cultist closer. This cultist has a lot of abilities that are really frustrating. Like so. Ha! 
suck it, nerds. Can foster hope and resilience. Sometimes heroes respond to the onslaught of stress by becoming heroic. This elevated state of performance will last until they camp or return to town and confer stat bonuses and other benefits. Does anybody else believe me when I say that I gave them the bird when that happened? Because I was like, fuck yes. Can't touch this. Okay, sorry about that. Was interrupted. Boosh. Hopefully that doesn't throw me off entirely. God damn it. Oh. Fuck you! <laughs> what was he saying? He was saying something, but I lost the ability to care at some point. <laughs> yes, thank you. I wanted wanted him to be finished off cuz he was giving me so much grief. All right, we only have one more enemy to deal with. And Lolly could probably take them down herself if she doesn't get uber stressed to the point of blowing up first come on move him a little bit closer mad now. I gotta finish this guy off quick. Oh my god, your dodge. It's so good. There we go. Success so clearly. A Heaven's Hairpin, a Hellion only. We don't have a Hellion class yet, light? but it's a rare item. Minus 25% stress damage if torch above 75, plus 10 accuracy if torch is above 75. So if th there's a lot of light going on, my Hellion class can take a lot more mental punishment, I guess. So that's what I'm getting at from it. Continue adventuring for a moment. Let's check what's in the contents. Crest and bus. Alright. We've explored every single room, so. Yeah, the agents of pestilence will yet be driven from. I think that was one of our most successful uh, quests yet. See, this is why I'm glad that I take the time to really absorb the information. You know. Tortoise and the hare, baby. I'm not here to speed run through this game or just like cut like huge chunks out just for convenience's sake. You're getting the full package. And I think the full package is pretty good. If I if if I can do say so. So I have an item for a plague doctor and an item for a Hellion. Got not too much treasure. Definitely less treasure than last time, but still good. And I got plenty of deeds, which I wanted. Resolve level up. Heroes gain resolve XP for each successful quest. Resolve XP in turn determines the hero's resolve level. Resolve level represents the hero's veteranship and directly acts as stress resistance against the horrors 
encountered in the dungeons. A low resolve level hero that tries a higher level quest will quickly crumble under the unimaginable stresses. So if I try to grind a low level hero by taking them to a high level quest, you know, in the hopes that they'll get more resolve experience or something, they could crumble quickly, so I need to keep that in mind. So, a high level hero can give stress resistance. Ah, there we go. I'm an adventurer now. I'm level 2. I'm no longer an apprentice. So I need six more experience points, it seems. Before I can reach the next level. I'm irrepressible, plus 5% virtue chance. Awesome. Tsukai hates Eldritch Abominations. So she does more damage and is stressed less by them. Good for you, Sukai. And Lolly, poor Lolly, went through a lot of mental punishment here. And did not come out of it with a beneficial quirk. Takes 20% more stress damage in the Warrens. So she has a phobia of the Warrens area. Okay. Well, she's going to take some time to relax. The sun shone, and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Ironically enough, I think my stress level is good enough to where I could just go out again. But you know what? I think I think I'm going to give my character some time to relax. I think I think he's just been through so much. Like, I don't want to be too cocky, you know? So Lully and Destin are now apprentice apprentices, and Rai is now an adventurer. The Warrens and the Cove have been unlocked for me to explore. The Sanitarium has now been unlocked, so that's supposed to help me with quite quirks and stuff. Aqua meditated and recovered 56 stress and is no longer paranoid. Okay, cool. I made the right choice. I figured since they were paranoid, going to the Abbey would be the perfect uh, thing for them. So, Kick has been inspired with holy worship and wishes to remain in prayer. Oh, okay. So Kick is going to remain like away from the team, but Kick has recovered a handful of stress and is no longer paranoid. Elendril gambled and recovered 69 stress. She's going to make a joke in the comments about that one, and is no longer abusive. Awesome. Alright, so... Uh, I got interrupted again, so that kind of irritated me. So, I can treat quirks and diseases in the sanitarium, which... A lot of us have very severe things that we have to deal with. The sanitarium is most often used to remove negative quirks and treat diseases, but you can also use it to reinforce a positive quirk, which will lock it in place and prevent new positive quirks from displacing it. You can lock a maximum of three positive quirks per hero. So you can have a total of like five positives and five negatives, and I can lock positive quirks so they're not replaced. Oh. Okay, so I can treat quirks and other problematic behaviors. I can treat diseases, humors, and other physical maladies. Let's look at these things. Increases number of medical ward slots to two. That would require ten bus and five crests, which we have. Reduce disease treatment cost by 13%. And then reduce the cost of sanitarium cork treatments. Is anybody suffering from diseases right now? I have no clue. Okay, I actually want to keep these items. The dodge stone and the uh, stun stone, they work together very nice, very harmoniously. So I'm trying to see if anybody has diseases or not. 
Oh, I can switch outfits? Are you serious? Did not even know that. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> there was a purple one. There we go. I like purple. Don't judge. And so... I'm just double checking to see if there, if anybody is suffering from diseases or not, or if I'm blind or whatever. Oh, the ague. Okay. Oh, the ague. Oh, it lists right here. I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. Okay, so Lily's going to stay here. She's going to be treated in the medical ward. And then for treatments. Down. I actually kind of want to deal with my uh, my tendency to steal items, but actually I think that would be a waste of time. So let's think about this. Lolly, myself, and Kick are not going to be available for the next mission. I probably wouldn't prioritize Aqua either for the next mission, so... I want to keep Sukai in here for sure. So, Lolly, you are going to stay here. Cost a little bit. Lolly's going to be staying here. Oh, yeah, and also there's going to be some new heroes, I'm sure. Oh, we. That's a new one. An abomination. What does the abomination do? Well, their HP is probably a bit above average. They have really good dodge, really high speed. And they do damage with their claws, mutated claws. Night Owl, plus two speed of torches below 26. Wow, that's not something I can really work with that well. Can get stressed out really easily if torches above 75. Minus four speed on the first round, slow draw. And he has a... Pretty much every ability unlocked. What the hell? All right, we'll take you. Tortured and reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. Yeah, sort by level. Thank you. Not taking the arbalist just yet. Might increase the number of available heroes. I'm not sure yet. All right, you know what? I'll take time to look over this, like, off-screen. And then I'll commit to my choices when I start the next video. But for now, I actually do need to go um, dinner. And I do need to edit some of this footage because it does take up a lot of hard drive space, this game. But I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I am super, super enjoying it. Let me name our abomination, which, God forbid... The person who I named this after is going to destroy my face. Uh. Man, is there a choice that I can pick that won't get me, like, destroyed? Hmm. You know what? We'll figure that out in the next part, too. So, I will see you all next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to comment and like the video if you have. I really do implore that you do comment if you have something to say or if you want to say something or if you just enjoyed the video. I want to hear from you guys so we can interact more. Um, but besides that, happy gaming everybody and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye!